Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. I hope you have seen my previous video on 12 volt 30 ampere lithium ferrophosphate battery pack. My intention was not to make that 30 ampere battery pack, but actually it was uh, to repair that existing 15 ampere battery pack. But when I opened the battery, I realized that the real battery pack is small and uh, the battery case was very big. So I thought that we can make a big battery pack and can insert that battery pack inside that battery box. So I made that 30 ampere battery pack and tried to insert it into the existing battery box. But the battery pack was slightly bigger. So I am unable to insert that inside this existing battery box now what i am going to do is to make a 12 volt 24 ampere battery pack and we'll insert this into this existing battery box one advantage is we can carry this battery very easily so this inventory is for making 24 ah 12 volt lithium ferrophosphate battery pack i have bought additionally more things along with this inventory and i will show you everything i will give you the buying link in the description box this is battery alligator clip or crocodile clip which has the capability of carrying higher ampere we are not using these clip as the battery terminals because if you are using this as battery terminals there are a chance that it will short circuit in my previous video you have seen that my ups battery terminals are not connected with any connectors i will connect one pair of this alligator clip in that ups battery terminals so that i can connect the battery very easily i bought only two pairs but i need three more pairs and i will buy it later these alligator clips are capable of carrying 12 volt 80 ampere and 24 volt 40 ampere. And the next thing is uh, 32700 type or 32650 type battery holder. I didn't open it. It was packed perfectly fine. I don't know why they put one battery holder outside. In our new battery pack, we will be using these holders. The advantage of using this type of holder is we can join two holders by locking at the edges. I will show you. By doing like this, the battery will not move and will be perfectly fit in that battery pack. After joining, it is even pretty easy to release it from the lock. Any number of holders can be joined together like this and we can make a, a very big, very huge battery pack. And these battery holders are uh, cheaper too, uh, made from soft pl plastic. If you, are, if you are handling it uh, roughly, it will break. Our battery pack terminals will be connected with the XT60 connectors. I will show you those things. Uh, I think this packet contains BMS XT60 connectors because that yellow things are XT60 connectors. You can see the BMS is also inside this packet. Uh, this BMS is for us 20 ampere capacity of uh, lithium ferrophosphate. But in this BMS, they have not written how much ampere capacity it has. For us, it has written, but 8181A. I will show you the details from the internet because I bought it for 20 ampere capacity. That means we can draw 20 ampere from this battery pack. And also you can see they have added the thermistor for it. You can see this is the ter thermistor. Uh, this thermistor we have to insert between the battery. So that if when the battery is uh, heating up while charging, this uh, BMS will automatically disconnect the charging procedure. These are MOSFET and two more MOSFET can be added to it. Then the ampere rating will be high, but we are not doing that thing. I have bought three BMS of this 20 ampere capacity. That is because BMS damage is more likely in a battery pack than battery damage. So normally I will keep more BMS with me. So when the battery pack is becoming damaged, I can easily repair it. I have bought 433 MHz transmitter and receiver module. You have seen these things in, in my previous videos. This is not bought for my battery pack, but in my upcoming videos, I will be using this. And next is XT60 connectors. This XT60 connectors, uh, the female one, which we'll, we will be using it in the battery pack. So this has the maximum current of 60 ampere and peak current 180 ampere, it can be drawn. But normally we will be using it for 60 ampere. So our battery pack is 20 ampere. So this will be perfectly fine to, in our battery pack. The XT60 connectors are not that much cheap, a bit costly when we are comparing with the size of other uh, uh, battery connectors. But the terminals are very good and strong, uh, very, very, very thick metals they have used for the terminals. 
this xt connectors are normally used in the battery pack of rc helicopters rc plane drones etc because those batteries has the capacity of more discharging power that means uh, 25c or 30c discharging power 1c means if for example if the battery is 1 ampere 1c means 1 ampere it can be drawn but 25c means 25 ampere i can draw from that 1 ampere battery so they will be using lithium polymer batteries for this these things once you buy it and use it then i am damn sure that after that you will use this xt 60 connector for your all your battery terminals because that this is that much good and next thing is the important thing for our battery pack that is the lithium ferrophosphate battery it has the capacity of 6000 milliage and 3.2 voltage uh, one cockroach is uh, running over it i don't know from where it has come from it is showing as 3.2923 volt but when you when you are fully charging a lithium ferrophosphate battery it will charge up to 3.6 volt I have bought 16 number of this uh, 32700 3.2 volt 6000 milliage uh, battery. Mm, I can see some damage at the top part. I don't know whether uh, it will work or not. Or any uh, anything broken or manufacturing defect? Uh, before uh, making a uh, making the battery back, I will test these things first. Charge it and try to discharge it and then only use it. You can see everything is written perfectly fine, lithium-ion, lithium ferrophosphate and four, uh, four batteries we will be connecting in parallel so that it will become 24 uh, ampere and again four numbers will be connected in parallel and will be serially connected again four numbers and again four numbers. So four S that means four batteries will be connected in series to form 12.8 volt. Okay and let's look for other things and this is barley paper when i am making uh, my previous video or previous 30 ampere battery pack i do not have any idea about what uh, this one is i didn't use this one in my previous uh, battery pack but later only i realized that this one we have to use this one because this is transformer type uh, insulation type paper with adhesive so um, yeah you can see i will show you the adhesive you can peel peel off like this and uh, just uh, wrap it around the battery pack this is a, the pap paper is a bit thick i have bought around 10 centimeter width of this paper paper with multiple sizes are available and you have to buy as per your needs i have bought 10 meter of this barley paper and i am planning to make 60 h lithium ion battery pack so this will need at that time and this is 3.7 volt lithium ion battery that is 18650 type and this is having 2000 milliage capacity i don't know whether this is good or not um, I, I will show you the weight of this one and we can make sure whether it is good or uh, not i will show you everything and the next one is the jumper cable for the breadboard uh, while testing the uh, circuits i will be using this one and this one is uh, the heat resistant tape and this we will be using while making the battery pack because um, the battery terminals will be covered using this one uh, you, you have seen these things uh, in so you can see this uh, lithium ion battery uh, you can see this uh, yellow uh, yellow tape the, actually that yellow tape is a uh, heat resistant tape the, the same one they have used it in my upcoming video i will show you or i will make an experiment on how much heat this uh, heat resistant tape can resist and these are all from my new inventory and we will i will keep everything inside this box uh, anyway uh, we will be making that uh, 24h battery very soon i will make a make a, make the video of that and will up upload it now we have to check it whether this battery is good or bad so what technique i i am using is i will weigh this battery i have a battery which is having 2000 milliage and was perfectly good because i have already proved it so i will weigh these two batteries if the weight of these two batteries are same we can make sure that these batteries uh, this uh, the new one is also good the right side one the, which is the violet in color that i have bought around two years back and was working perfectly fine what i believe is these two batteries are same only the wrapper color has changed one one is with the uh, uh, violet color and the other one is with the blue color because i have bought these two batteries from the same online store 
that violet one i have used more than hundreds of numbers and i have used it, it to my friends uh, equipments so it was working perfectly fine though so that is why i am telling you that that violet one was working it's a perfect battery and was working perfectly fine i am comparing other batteries uh, with this one you can see this battery is weighing 44 grams you can see it right so 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery with the 2000 milliage will weigh 44 gram now i will weigh the new battery that i have bought you can see that is also showing 44 gram which means the new batteries are also perfectly fine but some duplicate battery manufacturers what they are doing is they will add sand uh, inside this battery so that the weight will be 44 gram and the capacity will be less than uh, 500 milliampere so that that type of batteries are also available what i am doing now is the first level testing the second level testing is the uh, capacity test for that you can connect a motor uh, uh, across this battery and how long that motor will be running thus you can find out the capacity i believe you love this video if you like this video then please click like button and also share this to your friends please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care